Every now and again, China releases an absolutely wonderful product. This isn't going to be one of those. However, the slim statin is definitely going to be close, I think. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot here again, and in today's video, we are going to be having a look at the Slim Statin. It's the, uh, the console that everybody's been waiting for in 2018. It's getting to the end of the year. We didn't think it was going to arrive, but then, out of nowhere, Play Windows Media TM decided to give us this wonder. 16x9 TFT screen. Uh, I think this set me back £30 on Amazon. I'll leave a link to it if any of you dare to check it out. The box is interesting. Uh, the photos on Amazon are more interesting. Let's have a quick look at those. Um, it shows a, a, a pair of grandparents looking at the Slim Statin um, and, and other things that I can't quite remember, but very unusual. Um, on the top of the box, it says Slim Statin again, if they didn't show that enough. Obviously, it's meant to say Slim Station or something, but quality control isn't something that exists. Um, contents really here, console, AV cable, USB cable, user manual. On the back, it says... Avoid, do not charge for more than five hours. God, five hours of charging, my word. There's lots of things going on here, but nobody really cares about the box and everyone complains when I waffle on for ages. So let's go ahead and have a look at the contents of the box. I should point out that I don't have a PS Vita to compare this to. However, I imagine it looks very similar, just worse. And I'm absolutely correct. So it comes with a micro US, uh, mini USB charging cable, which is uh, pretty good. We've also got a little, um, card here which says dear customer thank you for your purchase and please do not store and use this console in high humid high temperature and high magnetic area ah oh. well magneto is not going to be able to play this please be aware when using in swimming pool bathroom kitchen etc area and in and environment please please be aware when using in environment right i've read enough i have not been paid to review this although the d-pad Feels good. So person who commented on my last video, calm down, everything's okay. Everything is okay, I've not been paid, but the D-pad does feel good. The D-pad feels good. Have I made that clear enough? It's also got a little joystick as well, which is um, quite quite nice. It's pretty much just standard joystick, probably higher quality than the, uh, the DS, uh, the little nubby thing that's going on up here. Um, on the top, we've got a headphone cable, a headphone jack, that's the on and off switch the charger port, and the reason why I bought this, it comes with a TFT cartridge. Now, the cart, sorry, an SD card, micro SD card. Now, the reason why I get excited about that is that means that this will probably have an emulator in it which allows us to play Game Boy Advance ROMs. We've got some really clicky shoulder buttons, although um, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Some people like that, some people don't. Screen looks quite small. Um, it made to look a little bit larger by the uh, the black bezel, but it's actually quite small. That's enough waffling. Let's turn it on. Oh. Oh. Okay. So I should point out that it takes a, a rechargeable um, Game Boy SP battery, but it doesn't seem to be turning on. Let me try and get a different battery. We can conveniently use the uh, Game Boy Advance knockoff battery from the last video because these things are all the same, which is really, really handy. And also, because they're Game Boy Advance SP batteries, if your SP battery snuffs it, you can take it out of one of the consoles that inevitably you're gonna stop using and put in a drawer. So, let's have a look at it. Oh, it's turning on. This one actually worked. Let's see that animation again, here we go. Well, that was anticlimactic. Um, okay, obviously a PSP ripoff of the uh, the loading screen, but that was inevitable, wasn't it? Um, hang on, let me just sort out my focus. There we go. So pretty obvious that that's what that was going to be. Let's quickly go through these and make this quick as possible. Desktop. You can't really read the writing because of the background. Desktop setting. Let me try and put this up here a bit. There we go. Desktop setting, uh, backlight time, system function, file manager, we've got folder, ebook. If you're going to read a book off this, 
don't. Folder, oh, picture, oh, so you can look at pictures. Video, I wonder if there's any videos on here. Play. Oh, play, play, here we go. SD card, no such file. U-Disk, Ridge Racer. It's gonna play the trailer to Ridge Racer. Brilliant. Music, let's see what music they put on here. <laughs> Blimmin' ringtone. Let's have a look what else is on here. Game, okay, arcade, U-disc, SD card. So arcade is probably where we're gonna find, oh, only five games, five and one. We've got Captain Commando, Capcom World 2, Dino Cadalix and Dinosaurs, Willow and Street Fighter 2. Brilliant, let's have a quick look at Street Fighter 2 then. Let's get right into the gameplay, only six minutes into the video. The screen is actually really high quality, which is quite a nice thing to be able to say. So good job, guys over at Slim Staten. Um, here we go, push start. Um, I don't know why it's flashing push start up here. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not playing. Oh, no. I can't press... If I press start and it doesn't work, but it's flashing press start up in the corner. But then when I press both buttons, it brings up a menu. So that obviously means that the start button's working. But let's just quit the game and assume that that game is broken. These look like um, Mega Drive games, actually. Some of the Mega, some Mega Drive games on here. Some uh, Master System games. So it looks like it really can emulate a wide variety of things. But I can't see any games that I've actually played a lot of before. Um, okay, let's come back out of here then and see what's on the SD card. Um, oh my goodness me. There we go, this is what we're waiting for. Legend of Zelda Minish Cap, a Game Boy Advance game. The screen quality is really, really good. No lag there on the audio. Oh, absolutely fantastic. Okay, press start. Let's go ahead and create a quick character. The only way I can accurately show you the colors of this is if I put the camera onto auto settings, but it might mean that the microphone sounds a little bit messed up, so I apologize about that. But this thing looks really good, and there doesn't seem to be any lag on this. There you go, the joystick works, so you can kind of move in the diagonal um, ways. Not a lot of latency. Less latency on the D-pad, so that's um, pretty good. Um, but yeah, if it, if it means that it plays this, I wonder if it plays um, regular Game Boy games. The frame rate looks pretty good. A little bit choppy there when it walked, when it went past into that other room. My movement seems pretty clean. Uh, doesn't seem to have too much lag. I don't know what you'd expect for 30, 30 pounds. I don't know what I was expecting for 30 pounds, but it looks pretty close. I think what we can also do then is see if it plays uh, regular Game Boy games. Yeah, guys, it doesn't look like you can play uh, regular Game Boy games, but that might just be because my file systems aren't, um, aren't ideally set up. I think that's pretty much going to conclude the review of the Slim Station, or Slim Staten, as it actually is called. I think it's quite exciting. Uh, it's pretty good. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you guys. It feels cheap. The screen resolution is, isn't great, and um, potentially there's going to be some lag. But for £30, it's definitely worth a try. Um, and it doesn't feel, you know, it sounds a little bit rattly because the buttons aren't going to be um, really cushioned with nice membranes. But other than that, it, it's not a bad thing. Um, definitely better than some of the things we've seen on here like this, for example. It's a shame they don't put the contents of this into a form factor more familiar um, than like this or something like that. But it's a little bit um, something that we can all get past, I think. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. As always, I'll leave the links to it if you want to buy it and pick it up. Um, not a bad thing, not fantastic, but definitely not awful by any means. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you uh, would like to leave a like, then please feel free to as well. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.